To convert a Performa 268 valve to use the new electronic controllers, you must remove the top plate of your old valve which hold, held your 440 timer or 460i timer. You'll have a bunch of screws at the top that will take off the old top plate. This is what the new top plate looks like. It has a big one-piece spring. The springs are all sitting in the tabs of the flapper valves. You will also have to remove your brine control dial and flow plug from the side of the valve. Remove them and put in the new refill control that is regulated at 3 point. Uh, 0.33 gallons per minute. That goes in place of the variable salt control. The salt is now going to be controlled by the electronic timer. So you need to mount the plastic top plate with all these screws. Then the spring can be pushed into place. It all sits on these tabs and the little tabs go in the holes of your Flappers. Now once you have your new top plate mounted and the springs, now it's time to put the camshaft in. Camshaft has a gear that goes towards the back and you push it through the hole. Yeah, looks real easy. Okay, got it in there. Now Pushing against some cams. Wait a second, I uh, just remember there's actually a top to this. Where's the top? There it is. Okay, there's an arrow right here. That's the top. Get that pointing to this arrow right here, and everything will be a little bit easier. There, pushed it in. Now I'm going to have to press it down and slide it forward. You're going to have to push on some of these flapper valves in the process. Okay, that's what I did. I got it slid forward. Now it's locked in place here. It's still in the back. Now your drive motor has a big gear and the wires attached. It goes in this hole right in the back. Just put it in with your metal tabs straight up and then once you have it in give it a little turn to the left or up that now has it locked in place the cable has a sensor and you'll want to You'll have to snap it into place, keeping the white towards you. The circuit board part goes in this little hole here. And you know what? I think I was supposed to do that before I put the camshaft on. I was. Okay, reverse. Slide motor up, out, push back, pull up. Now, I'm going to put this little sensor in the hole right here. Okay, it's locked in place. Now, long in the camshaft in, make sure arrow is pointing up towards arrow. Okay, I'm in, pushing down, sliding slightly forward, camshaft not locked in place. Motor in hole in the back, turning slightly left or up. All right, now we're back in business. Now we have one cable left. Goes in the larger hole on the uh, back of the circuit board. The smaller will not be used uh, except for the metered 762 version. Uh, we're working with the 740 and it does not uh, hook to any meter. It's going to go by days. So anyway, the circuit board 
connector locks in and then there's like a little uh, little shelf right here on the uh, circuit board just kind of set that right there and then rock it forward and it snaps into place and if you needed to release it it's right here that way you can make sure your cable's attached and you are up going to as your final step have to plug in the transformer which you can do after it's already in place and then you're ready to go to the programming which is explained in the manual and you get to push all these buttons here on the front that's a different video